So not even an hour ago, we just finished up our AMS and GT675 RS install video. While it's processing and editing upstairs, we actually have something else to go check out. He's a friend of mine. He's actually been by here before. He's picked up some exhaust and whatnot. A couple other things for his Z. And well, he wants me to check his out. And I don't entirely mean check it out, see what's wrong with it. I mean, I think it's time we go check it out. So as of now, he's got it listed for 3,000. We're gonna see what we can do. We've already went to check it out. You guys haven't seen it yet, obviously, but there's one big selling point on this car to make me want it. And well, let's just say it's as uncommon as my slick top. Even rarer did it come in slick tops. So I think we're gonna see if we can kind of fudge it around and make rare on rare with our slick top. Before I tell you guys too much, why don't we go ahead, hop in the Z, now let's go check her out. Well, probably a cool 30 minutes later, and well, we've officially made it to our new potential purchase. I don't know if you guys have even noticed yet, what my favorite part about this car even is. I don't think you can zoom on a GoPro, but you see that? That is red interior. And here is the 2 plus 0 red interior Z that we just scooped up. I don't even know what the seats be looking like. Oh, dude, that's not even bad. That is so not even bad. I'm about to rock these dudes. Got a couple nice little things like shift boot, shift knob, Mishimoto. We're going to have a couple interior pieces and bits we still need to pick up, at least over at his house. But for now, got a nice TK3 hatch here. Kind of uh, on the fence. Ooh. Wow. This hood has no weight and it just about pinched my fingers off of my hand. Holy crap. <laughs> and I probably shouldn't be allowed to do some things. But here is the rear, which I'm super stoked about. It's got a little bit of damage here and there. And actually he went ahead and re it a little bit. So it kind of looks more appropriate. You can see about right here, kind of the spray, or at least the old color of it, it chipped a little bit. Super faded like pink. But there is enough goodies in here for me to use for my slick top, especially this carpet. Just everything on this car is going to be used. I'm thinking it's just going to be a part out car. Maybe we can just throw the chassis together as kind of a cheap chassis for like a friend of mine or something. Part of me is not seeing the full resale value in this. So the reason being, I should say, let's show you guys. We've got a little bit of rust in here. So this and this is pretty much the reason why I parked my black still in Z and threw it up to be chopped up. We've got some damage for us down here. This one's not bad, but this panel has been replaced on both sides. And we've got a lot of rust back down here too. You can't really see. As cool as it is, this here twin Z will not be ours. He's actually keeping that. Other than that, we just get about everything that we see here. Now for the worst part, let's check out the radiator support and I'll show you guys pretty much what's going on with it because that's like the whole deciding factor in this car other than the nice engine bay. Got a couple Z-Spec kits, dress up kits, nice cover, AMS clears. Not only that, it is freshly timed with a 120K timing kit. It's got some stuff to work with, at least if the engine's in good shape, we can use it for something else if need be. Not to mention it's a manual. So that's already a huge plus. Now for the cruddiest parts. That. You can actually pick or put your finger in the lower radiator support. We do have a replacement radiator support or lower core. It's pretty rusty itself, but maybe we can make something work out of it. We are about to take the welder back out to my dad so we can learn how to weld since he just got power in his shop. So maybe, just maybe, we can sort that out. Currently the car is having an ABS issue. When you drive it, it's like it's being held back the whole time and doesn't want to actually take off. Not only that, there's a couple exhaust leaks. Um, 
intakes aren't hooked up, they're loose, and a couple fuel hoses aren't tight. So we have a couple things to do to this before we actually take it out of here. We're actually going to take care of that tomorrow. Good morning. So it's a new day and it's time for us to get busy. We did load up this box last night and this is about all of the extras that was not in the car that we got. I thought that said Mitsubishi, it's Mitsubashi. You ever heard of a timing belt for a brand Mitsubashi? I thought that was a little odd. A little cheap eBay shifter, random gaskets, belts. Got some super xenon lights, so that's kind of cool. And honorable mention, red T-top bags, super rare. So happy to see that. Not only that, there's actually one sunshade in the car as well, so we're only missing one. Now we're warming up the car. We're actually gonna go grab some breakfast, come home, take our dogs out, and then we're gonna head straight back over to Muncie, and we're gonna start working on this Z and see how we can get it back to the house. Now let's go ahead, head back over, and check the Z out, fix what we can, and who knows, maybe drive it home. I really need to move these boards out here. Here's to another 40 minute drive. Also something really cool, I've had some shipping issues. A big box sitting up there. Got me some new turbos, got me some new injectors, and I got me an ECU. So I'm super happy about that. It's been like a month in the going. Um, shipping label smudged when he went to print it and ship it. Well, they just kept it there for a month. crazy it's the end of February and it's over 70 degrees outside that's super strange but hey I'm not complaining so we've been here working for probably 30 45 minutes what we've done we pretty much went tightened up every single fuel hose they all seem to be loose and it appears I forgot a couple over here Not only that we just got the car to run for a minute it's getting warm up here on the engine the battery need a jump because it's got a draw Check this out. Open the radiator beforehand. There's just nothing in here. It's all rusty and gross. So we definitely need to bring some antifreeze before we take the next step, especially if we anticipate driving this thing home. We also noticed there's something weird going on here. He did the EGR delete and he just cut the pipes. So the walk off and stuff is already done, but they've got this PCB going back here to the EGR while that cut pipe right above the EGR is the PCB that's been cut and actually needs to be hooked onto. We've got our couple hose clamps installed on the intakes, so pretty much everything on that system's fine. Something else we found out as well, we did a power balance test. This injector is not clicking and the cylinder is dead. That's why I got this disconnected right now. So we need to sort that out. We pulled all the under shrouding off. So now you can get a bit better of an idea of that rust slash damage. Something really cool about this car that I did not mention. It is actually, not sure how well you guys can see there. This is the 3333Z in the United States. That's a really cool thing. I just, I noticed it yesterday when I was signing the title over. And well, it's been giving me second thoughts about this, what we need to do with it. So please drop it in the comments below. Do we flip it? Do we keep it? Sell our drift car? Maybe make this a drift car? Or do we, I don't know. We gotta bring it back or something. He uh, seems to think we just need to part it out. Now with the battery charge, since we need to bring antifreeze before we go anywhere, we actually need to bleed the brakes as well. He said he thought something was wrong with the ABS. And well, there definitely is. You can tell as soon as you get in this car, it has a critter problem. Not only that, but everywhere else along the floor, you can just see stuff. If you take this cover back here off for the ABS, you can just see how dirty and nasty it is. And it has actually been gone through with some critters. I assume someone took some of the nest out, but there's still plenty down there. So I'm partially thinking this thing could be leaking. I don't know. I'm tempted just to bring the trailer over here and bring this thing home so we can just take a look at it there. And I don't have to worry about it. I did drive it around the parking lot and it just has no brakes. It builds a little bit of pressure now. Well, no, it don't even build pressure. It should get rock hard, but it's just not. It's starting to look like it's going to rain. 
it's not looking too good out and it does say in the forecast in the next couple hours instead of burning up a bunch of more gas and money driving back and forth i think it's okay to uh go ahead and chill out for the day see what we can do around the shop i'm just not thinking this is going to be a go i need a second person here when i do drive it if i do so me being here by myself already puts me at coming back here it's dead so we need to jump the jump pack or charge the jump pack and we'll be back sorry well you guys you can't make this up this is literally how i got my turbos there's like not even packaging in here ecu's probably had the poor daylight speed out of it now here's what i more so need the absolute most because if you guys didn't know i actually pulled my fuel injectors out of my drift car over here so we are in need of some thankfully i already have a thousand cc injector tune so i can upgrade these injectors safely it was reported that both of these turbos are in good working order i'm just happy they have all the lines so well that doesn't look the best it actually spins pretty good i'm pretty happy with that one well, exhaust housing looks good no broken bolts i didn't look at the other one probably one nope wow surprise surprise uh, it's got slight back and forth like no in and out so at least we have all new lines now we have lines that we can use for something since that's always missing from every turbo kit that you buy and it saves you like 500 bucks from buying a brand new well it's the next day we just got over here with the trailer it was nice 60 70 degrees out yesterday now it's like 30 super windy and well we've got our car all straddled and strapped up I actually just got these new for uh, christmas so we get our get our first test use out of them other than that i think we are all gravy let's take this thing back to z heaven and yet we got trusty old steed out here again today even though it's got a lift tank still running strong now i remember i said something but i couldn't really show you guys that well this car is the 3333rd z it makes me want to keep it i don't know it's super cool you never really see anything cool with a vin like that so please drop in the comments below you guys should we make this our drift car to take the red interior use the chassis or do we just fix this thing up sell it keep the interior please let me know i value your guys's opinions you guys help drive this channel so we're going to keep you included well now we are actually in the car it's absolutely freezing outside so i'm not really planning on doing anything outside i wasn't going to do much today at all but i really just need to get some stuff done not only just on this car but i just need to get everything moving so we're going to try to pull everything that's small that we can kind of throw in a box somewhere so that way we can store it for the time being i don't want to just throw more stuff inside of my barn and just like clog everything up when i already don't have room so that's why i'm going to take all the small stuff for now and i'm going to put some stuff in my slick top since that's where i plan on putting nearly all of this we'll just do kind of like a duo black and red interior i don't have power seats so i'll probably keep my black leather as they're pretty nice and I'm sure we'll find a lot more nests because that's about all I can smell in here. I reckon we can go ahead and start with this thing. Can't say I 100% anticipate using it, but it always helps in a pinch. Oh, oh, before we go prying, gotta forget. Some people actually just use screws instead of uh, nothing like I have because of how much I pull the thing out. Well, in theory, it should come out. Maybe. There we go. I totally forgot that the old ones actually come off like that. I'm used to mine all coming out as one piece. Luckily, I don't have to mess with any of that. I can just go ahead and pull this out next. This shifter bezel thing looks absolutely brand new. There we go. I must protect this at all costs. This thing is nice. Now, in theory, this should, yes. Definitely needs a cleaning. Hopefully that can even come out. That's got tons of years of knee, just dirt and funk. I really hope that's not all like mouse pee. I swear, every Z I buy, they're all like this. 
quit letting them sit that long, you guys. As we just pulled this unit off, I had some troubles with it because it was loose, but it turns out that that was why. I mean, obviously in combination with that, but that's just a known problem. That, that's not as common. I can't get it to separate from the top. Maybe I'll just leave it on this thing. Pull, oh, well, I guess one of those are already missing. We'll just pull this out. Pull this fascia out and then we'll just pull the whole unit off. Since this is a 1990, we'll have to unplug, I think, one or maybe two harnesses on the back side of this. 91, about halfway through 91 and up, which if you, if you have airbags, yours will be up here on the cluster. Oh, there we go. Those ones always make my fingernails hurt. <laughs> Starting to not look like a car anymore. Maybe not from down there, but. So from what I can tell, these have been dyed up here. Uh, I wouldn't doubt if Z-Spec makes a replication or replica now. Uh, they did just come out with these in red. They may actually have these center finishers in red too. I don't know, I just realized he never grabbed the old door handle off his door. Ah, that's not good. Now check out what I found in here. Even better than that Mishimoto shift knob. That's sick. I'm pretty sure this is an OEM one and it's still even got the lettering and stuff on it, numbering sick i guess that's what you get for 113,000 miles this thing's just full of surprises let's see if we can get these out nicely this dash has no lift zero dash peel i'd say to the right person 300 hundred dollar dash this thing's nice though i just keep falling in love even more the longer that i sit in here i don't really ever pry very slightly and it actually appears this is broken this little spot i'm sketched out i don't want to damage it more than it already is oh there we go is it actually a red one nope just a sprayed black one nonetheless that looks really good hopefully that's not how they are from the factory who knows now this one i'm about positive has been black unless it's the same kind of thing these ones aren't very rough textured like the other dyed parts of the car are. Because he did refinish a couple. I can't remember if I showed you guys. Can't forget the mirror up here. May as well pull these off. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. I had a pretty crazy, stupid, irritating event today. That Well, since it's so windy, I went to go drive to get some food. Let's just say I didn't even end up getting food. I got so irritated and mad, had to be a bigger person and just stuff happens, I guess. I wasn't really paying attention. I was driving, you know, looking at the road. The wind is blowing really hard this way. And since the Z has so much glass in it, these things get kind of like a greenhouse effect and they get really hot. You're sitting inside of it, especially with the heat on. It gets really hot really fast. Like I usually do, I decide, oh, let's crack the window. Someone took off at the stoplight quicker than me, flicked a cigarette, hit my car. I seen the butt, was too distracted with the butt, and was like, what the heck, dude? Seriously, you can't just wait till you get up a little bit farther? Little did I know, with the window cracked, I assume it hit the mirror or the A-pillar, and it came and a cherry sat right here and melted down on my door panel. Literally, it's like a near perfect door panel. I've got something very minuscule like that on it. Other than that, it's literally perfect. And now, I it looks worse from where I'm at, like in my seat, but if you look at it from outside, it's not a full hole, but it's an indentation that's big and it just shriveled up that vinyl, so. I've been sick to my stomach all day. I finally just got over it. I, whatever. It's a car. Stuff happens. I, I just, I just can't be mad. Whatever. I got to move on. So hopefully I can find a good tweed door panel. But if not, what I've been exploring is I've been looking online at vinyl, and I've been trying to find something to match this pretty well. I may do a little post in the group just to see kind of what this is. I assume it's just vinyl and it's probably about the same print as I see on everything. So in my theory or thoughts is if we did do such a thing that we would get enough to rewrap all of the panels, which would just be the upper and lower door panels, dash, also our uh, up here on our T-top finishers. 
headliner, obviously, but I really need to look into that because my slick top one actually has a little bit of damage back here, and it's something I would like to fix. And if it's something that's plausible, we can do it red to match the rest of this interior, and even just to redo some of this before we put it back in. If you guys happen to know what the uh, pattern is or where to get the closest OE pattern type, please drop in the comments below and help a brother out. Now, here's the one thing I forgot to show you guys. I'm honestly scared to put my fingers in here. Oh, okay, that was it. It's just a little part of a nest. I thought this thing was gonna be chock full. Well, we're nearly cleared out now, at least for what we got at the time being. So let's switch over here and start pulling more out. Urgh. Well, it appears someone's still got this uh, kick panel down here, so it's going to make pulling this a little bit more difficult. Wow. Well, we had to use a little more force than we wanted to. Nice. I love it. I've just been grabbing it and touching it. Ah, makes it so much better. Ugh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Ah. Uh, some really old documentation in here. Like, really old. 1990 owner's manual. And warranty information. Sweet. I do know I've got one of these somewhere. Definitely in way better shape. Definitely one of the cooler things to find in this car. And it has all the original paperwork and stuff too. Man, I don't know how well you guys can tell on camera here. I just noticed that's the difference in what this interior used to look like versus what it's faded out to. Wow. So especially if we get these uh, skins here to replace all of this stuff, um, I would be super confident in doing the rest of it. If not, I would take these somewhere. And you know, honestly, I would be happy with it. I just want to try to figure out a solution because at one point these cars are going to be like extinct and parts are going to be super hard to find. So I want to be able to figure something out so we can continue to work and enjoy these beautiful Z's. I really don't want to go digging in this mouse trap. Please, pretty please. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, nothing's broken. Sick. Since this is the only way you guys will be able to see this jumbled mess, uh, almost, I guess we got one more connector. Someone's apparently had some speakers hooked up here. Let's snip the wires. Got our bracket out. Now we officially only want to take technically one more piece off before we really call it quits. And that's just this corner piece. I really wanted just to yank the dash out tonight, but honestly, there's no point in that. Wow, look at that beautiful sunset. But there's just no point in it because, where am I gonna put it? I may as well just wait till tomorrow till I can just rearrange and move a couple things for the final part. And that's not ideal. It appears our dash is a little cracked and broken right here. I'm missing a clip over here as well. Yeah, I probably shouldn't even put them in there, but whatever. It's got to go somewhere. Oh, well, you guys, I think that's going to wrap up this video. We're getting uh, quite the collection going on here, accumulating all of our red parts. Still super happy about them T-top bags and one sunshade. There's not too much for us to do, not too much to show really. I'm just pulling interior out. I do gotta kinda pull the trigger. I've gotta swap the drivetrains between that and my drift car since I am just gonna sell the drift car now. It's got a bunch of cheap suspension on it. Someone will like that. eBay adjustable suspension, max speeding rods, all that. I'm not interested. The car's just got some weird problems, but it's got a cool look to it, cool-esque and if I can get it working good for someone, then that's all that matters. As long as they enjoy it, that's about it, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe down below, below, <laughs> below so you can stay tuned for more content and see what we got going on next. And until next time, we'll catch you then. Peace.